Uh, we grew up ski racing together in the mountain Pennsylvania. We are in Salt Lake City, Utah at Solitude. Um, we're shredding it today. Some water skiing out here. So what we're going to talk to you guys about though is ankle instability and specifically how wearing cushioned shoes can basically make your muscles and your feet weak. So put, put you at larger risk for that ankle instability, spraining your ankle, respraining your ankle. Kara here has broken her ankle like three times from walking. Um, that shouldn't happen. Yeah. <laughs> um, so basically, we grew up ski racing together. We're in ski boots all winter. Um, any of you ski racers know that these things are like torture devices for your feet. We used to call them houses of pain. That's right. Um, really tight, and we don't get a lot of movement. So. In a few minutes after we get down off the mountain, we're going to show you some ways that you guys can, in the off season, you can strengthen your feet a little bit and then also a way to warm up. So, you know, before whatever sport it is you play, if you're crossfitting, if you're skiing, playing basketball, whatever, a way that you can warm up your feet to decrease your risk of injury in the ankle. See you guys in a little bit. What's up, guys? We're back. As you can see from our goggle tans, we've had an awesome day of spring skiing, a bit snowbird. Um, so, quick recap. We're going to go over some ankle stability drills. If you're wearing a lot of cushion shoes, what happens is your feet start to get weakened because you're not having to activate the stability muscles. Um, also, you're lacking that proprioception. So after you've had uh, an ankle injury, the same thing starts to happen. You have a decrease in proprioception, strength, so you're going to be at more risk for an ankle injury. Um, the example we used with Kara was with her ski boots because you're locked in those ski boots, they're super stiff not getting a lot of movement in your feet. Kara's had two ankle breaks, breaks one, one foot, foot fracture, um, two times from walking, one time from running. So not cool. We've got to get some strength in her feet. So um, go ahead and turn to the side for me. So on the side of the leg, you've got your peroneals that go down the side of the leg. They attach on the outside of the foot here where those three ligaments that help stabilize your foot attach. So we want to strengthen those. Um, they're going to improve your balance so and also your stability in your foot. So a great way to do that is a single leg balance. Um, this is going to be a great way for you guys, you ski bunnies in the off season, to get your feet stronger and then also a great way to warm up your feet. So let's go ahead and start with doming your foot. You always want to create that natural arch. Okay, good. And let's go ahead and stand on one foot. So this looks easier for her, so I'm going to progress her. I might have her do some reaching, go out and reach for my arm. Reach forward, reach forward, there you go, good, good. So a little bit of a challenge, but she can probably handle, um, we're gonna have her hop, so that's how we would progress her. Go ahead and hop forward, good, good. Hop backwards, good. So we can do some hopping drills. The next thing we can do to progress her is an un uneven surface. So you guys can use ab mats, grass, you can use the beach, if you've got a beach around. Um, just a way to progress her, make it a little bit harder make those stability muscles in the foot, the peroneals and a lot of the other stabilizing muscles work a little bit harder, strengthen. So again, off season, and then go ahead and spend five, 10 minutes before your workout, before you go play basketball, volleyball, before you do a wad, just warming up those feet and try and get all those muscles working properly so you guys don't have any ankle breaks like my friend Kara here. <laughs> all right, see you guys next week.